say welcome to my channel. Who's that baby? Who's that baby? Who's that baby? Hi! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about Cora's two month update. So I'm gonna be talking about how she, her eating habits are with breastfeeding, how she sleeps, pretty much everything that Cora is going through I'm gonna be talking about in this video. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm Samantha, some of you know me as Love Sam May. I post, I try to post every Wednesday and Saturday. If not, uh, you guys will catch a video either on a Wednesday or a Saturday. If you're interested in her two month update, continue watching. Alright guys, so two months old. I can't believe time has gone by so fast. I feel like it was just yesterday I just gave birth to her and it's crazy how fast time is going by. I feel like it needs to slow down because Coral's already two months old. Next thing you know, I'm going to be giving you guys my six month update and then she's going to be one years old. She grew up so fast. <laughs> but today... Really? I have a, one of the neighborhood kids cutting my grass and he wouldn't pick perfect time when I'm recording. So Cora has come a long way from her newborn stage all the way up to two months old. It's kind of bittersweet for her growing up because I finally get some sleep, a little sleep. When she was a newborn, she would sleep pretty long and then as soon as she started to hit like the four weeks old to seven weeks old, it started, her sleep pattern started to like change. Every time it comes to bedtime, I make sure that we are at least upstairs getting ready to go to bed and then 8 o'clock we're laying down already. So that's pretty much been our sleep routine. Since I've been doing that, Cora knows at 8 o'clock it's bedtime. If I pass 8 o'clock, she's restless and she's cranky and she's crying non-stop. So I make sure that she is laying down and ready to go to bed at 8 o'clock. Sometimes Cora though, I notice she falls asleep at the boo, which I, I'm not surprised because that she's a newborn, she's supposed to fall asleep at the boo. It's not, it's like, it won't hurt. But I'm trying now since she's two months old, I'm trying to lay her down by herself when she's super sleepy so that way she can put herself to sleep. Sometimes that doesn't work. So I ended up just picking her up and putting her in a carrier. But I do know that I don't want her to rely on me to put her to sleep because I know with Kimir and Camden, they do rely on me to put, they did, well Kimir she's grown now, but Camden, he relies on me to go to sleep. Like he knows like when we we're upstairs, milk, milk, like he wants to drink milk and he it's time to sleep. I don't want to do that with Cora, so I'm trying to train her to go to sleep. I know it's pretty early, but I know it's a good habit to start now where I lay her down uh, when she's extra tired and then she falls asleep. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing with Cora. So, like today, she just woke up and now she's taking her morning nap. Uh, normally that lasts for like an hour, maybe hour the longest. Uh, sometimes it's just like 30 minutes or 15 minutes because the kids are super loud so she just wakes up. She's in the carrier. Normally that's the time where she sleeps the longest is when she's in the carrier. So I try to put her in the carrier for her morning naps as well as her afternoon naps. But sometimes the carrier can get a little sweaty, especially if like, you know, body heat gets a little sweaty so I kind of I tried to put her in her bassinet because you know we're not sweating together yeah that's typically where Cora is napping she's either been napping in her uh, sleeper her little rocker her bassinet or she's sleeping on me and like I said the kids are super loud sometimes they're playing or whatever so they wake Cora up so, so Cora was reaching her growth spurts when she was like from newborn to one month old but when she hit the one month stage I was like whoa she keeps crying you know and I was just like Oh my gosh like even now like she cries at certain times and I'm just like pulling my hair out because I don't know what she wants sometimes it just takes me walking back and forth and I'm just like okay Cora stop crying stop crying and then eventually she stops crying it, sometimes I don't know why she's crying sometimes the breast does not stop Cora from crying sometimes she doesn't even want the breast and she just you know wants to be held milestone she's starting to smile she's starting to lift her head up Cora she loves tummy time Sometimes, sometimes though, when I leave her at tummy time, um, a little longer than usual, she starts to fuss and things like that. So uh, I try to do tummy time in the morning as well as the afternoon. I haven't done a two month checkup yet because of the what's been going on, the coronavirus. I've been really hesitant in going to do her two month checkup because I'm like paranoid. I know last appointment for her one month, she weighed eight pounds. I feel like she's feeling like nine pounds, almost 10 pounds. Her length wise, when she was one month, was 21 inches. She was born 19 inches, so she did grow. I do know she grew a lot since then, even though it's only been like a month. Another thing, I've been posting pictures of Cora on my Instagram, and some of you guys are talking about how she has cradle cap. Yes, Cora does have cradle cap. Chimera had cradle cap and Camden had cradle cap. I'm not too surprised that 
Cora has a lot of cradle cap. She has a lot of cradle cap in the front of her head. I'll show you guys later in the video of cradle cap. If you guys don't know, if you're a first time mom, you're like, what is cradle cap? I'll show you guys um, later. But Cora does have cradle cap, cap in the front of her forehead as well as the mid part of her scalp. I have an ointment from Elizabeth Naturals that really worked with Camden. So I put that on her scalp and I just massaged the ointment into her scalp right before bath time. And the cradle cap comes off. I don't pick up the cradle cap. I know. Uh, you're not supposed to pick up the cradle cap because it can aggravate the skin and cause bleeding. So it, over time, it does go away, probably about a month or two months, um, depending on how severe the cradle cap is. Um, Another thing about Cora that I've noticed is her skin. I showed you guys probably like a couple of weeks back in the video that Cora had a rash on her cheeks. She does get rashes on her cheeks, but I noticed, I thought it was eczema, and a lot of you guys said it was eczema as well, but... I've noticed it is heat rash, so when we do like skin to skin or she's sleeping on my chest, Cora tends to get the heat rash on her cheeks. So it can be confusing when you see like rashes on the baby. It could be like baby acne, it could be um, heat rash, it could be cradle cap rash, which I didn't know. Babies can get cradle cap rash from like obviously the cradle cap. Yeah, so you have all these rashes and acne on babies, so it's like a severe redness and you're just like, what the heck, I don't even know what's going on. So the first couple of weeks when Cora had the rash, when she was a newborn, I had to just leave it alone. It'll go away eventually, which it did, but then the rashes started to come back. So then I was like, wait, maybe it is eczema. Sometimes in the mornings when I wake up, Cora has a heat rash on her cheek, on her body uh, gets cool, uh, the heat rash goes away. Another thing about Cora is that she's starting to get like redness under her neck and her in between her creases. Sometimes the creases get stinky. So I like to give her baths every other day and I just put like a wet washcloth in the days that I don't give her a bath, I do the washcloth, dry it up real good. But yeah, that's what's been going on with Cora. Cora, she's, like I said, she's a really good baby. Sometimes though, she has her days where she's like crying and I'm just like, oh my God. Like I'm freaking out and then Camden's crying and I'm just like, what? And then Camaro's crying and I'm just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? <laughs> I just fed her, so I gotta burp her. Guys, this is literally my outfit every day. Like, with this carrier, I have a different shirt. Coral, say hi. This video is about you, baby. This video is all about Coral Bora. Right, Cora? Right, so yeah, like I said, Cora is a very, really good baby. She cries when she needs something, obviously. She cries when she's hungry. She cries when she's sleepy. She cries, cries, and cries. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> but yeah, I think I talked about everything when it comes to Cora. Sometimes nap time, when I think that Cora has a good nap time schedule, she all of a sudden surprises me and she doesn't even sleep during her nap time. It's probably like only five minutes or 10 minutes. So that's how Cora has changed with her nap time. She sleeps really good sometimes but sometimes late like lately since she hit two months her sleep pattern has changed so sometimes i think hey she's about to she's sleepy she does not end up sleeping and like i said my kids are loud so she ends up waking up so yeah she's very clingy to me like she wants to be around me all the time right cora and then she just falls asleep on me right cora <laughs> uh, another thing that i didn't talk about cora sleeping she doesn't necessarily sleep in the bassinet all the time most of the time she sleeps with me in the bed yeah, I know you guys are probably like she doesn't even, she should not even be sleeping with you, Samantha. But I slept with Kimira, Camden, and now Cora since they were babies. So uh, I will continue to sleep with Cora in the bed. Another thing I showed you guys when she was sleeping is the cradle cap. If you guys look closely, she does have cradle cap. Oh, sorry, baby. She does have cradle cap at the top of her scalp. I'll show you guys. Like you guys see that? She has the cradle cap up here. But she had a lot like. Sorry, baby. She had a lot in the middle part of her forehead coming down. I've been using the ointment like I told you guys and slowly but surely it's coming off. Yeah, do you look like mommy? Do you look like mommy? There's the question. <laughs> <laughs> she also found her hands, right, Cora? She's been sucking on her hands, which is super cute because that um, actually soothes her. It's like a comfort for her. When she starts crying, she just finds her hands and she starts sucking it. And like I told you guys, she does not take a pacifier. I tried and I gave up. She, and she doesn't take bottles. Or that tells mommy that you just gonna be using the nippy, right? And another thing is she's starting to talk. She's doing her uh, ooh, her little coos. You right, Cora? 
Yeah, are you doing your little coos? Yes, are you talking? Yeah, are you? But yeah, that's pretty much it on her two month update. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys. Mm -hmm.